I did. Yeah, but I have another tactical question. Um, you know, the way City play, they often invert their fullbacks into midfield to get those superiorities. That seemed to be a problem for Arsenal in the first half, but not in the second half. So what kind of adjustment did you make um, to kind of stop that being the case? I think that the space where they get into when they, they have that fullback is obviously between our forward line and our midfield line. And the bigger that space becomes, the more they can take advantage of it. So I think we manage by our positioning to make that space smaller. Um, and then we manage those situations better as well. Um, so, yeah. And uh, in, uh, for the last 20 minutes, you changed the formation. You went to that back three that we've seen against City before, um, which seemed to work pretty well. What was the thinking behind that? I think it was multiple things that we wanted to try and do with that. One thing is, of course, defensively to work with the crosses against Spanish Hall to say that it's probably no better player than Cembiti in the league to have inside central all the time. Like in a back three, she's playing central. You know, she's always going to be in front of goal whenever there is a cross. And whenever they try to clip the ball into Jen she's, or to Shaw, she's now going to be there dueling for that. So that was one part of it. Another part was to bring in as a back three, but also Jen's quality to playing out from the back in order to give us a little bit more composure on the ball. And then we also wanted to change the pressing dynamics because I, I had the feeling that even if we managed it better in the start of the second half with pressing, I got the feeling that City were beginning to um, finding ways into the game, finding some momentum into the game there again. And with us changing formation, now we, of course, we change the pressing patterns and then we change the open spaces for them. And that usually takes a 10 minute period for it to settle and sort of wanted us to see, could we thrive off that 10 minute period coming in and having a really clear pressing strategy. And uh, if we score, then we know we could sit back a little bit with that back five. So it worked out probably more well than I deserve, but the players deserve it. Uh, all the way from their application, so that was great. I told them after, you know, like I'm lost for words. This, this block, when I see on my time so far as an Arsenal head coach, has been by far the most competitive block. We played Chelsea twice, we played Bayern Munich twice, we played City. Um, we, we had Tottenham away in, in the meantime, like it's the amount of games we have played and then you look at our injury situation from that and how it changed during the games and managing results going not our way, uh, to be kind at times this block, not the greatest referee refereeing against us either, but we just keep on putting the left foot in front of the right foot, we're thinking next action, we're thinking solutions, we're sticking into the game and uh, while these things maybe have been our problem in the past, now it sort of seems like we're thriving in the situations instead. And uh, that's when we speak about creating culture and building mentality. I think we have a team here that shown the world, this uh, block here, what, what they're made of. And uh, now we need to keep that a standard and be accountable to that going forward. It's like those things, it's, it's what makes a, a team. Like she wasn't a boot. Uh, she told me straight away she was going to play Sunday. But of course you don't believe, believe that. Then she went from the, the scans and they looked better than we thought. And uh, then, then me and her spoke a little bit yesterday. And she was just like, I'm here. We, we didn't even have her out kicking long balls yesterday just to save the foot for 24 more hours. But her from mentality was just like, I'm here. And... Then she manages to play 80 minutes on that yellow card, which I think is extremely harsh given, but it's... Uh, and then she tops it off with that goal. I think this period here in March and now beginning of April, it's the best we've seen Katie McKay since, I was, uh, since I've been a coach here at Arsenal. I think she has been an incredible player for us during this block in many different positions. I guess. Without Kim in the field, it seems... I guess, would you have to depend on or utilise different attributes for your midfielders? So, being a bit more combative and maybe with Frida, she's making more off the ball runs and stuff like that. So, is that the way you kind of get around that issue? 
uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, with the social relationships, of course, like um, Wally and Kim has played so many games for us as sixes, and they've been a really consistent part when we have been playing well this season. Uh, and we, we know that Leah Williamson, when she plays as a six, for example, she has so many qualities there as well. But she's a different player to Kim. So we also need to adapt to that and to see. And I am a big believer of saying, let's not just fit players into a system. Let's try and find roles for them. That is them. So when Kim plays six, we need to play it to her strength. Now Leah does that. And that means tiny adjustments for the other players. Uh, so we, we need... Leah is not a typical sitting six. You can see, like, when she's playing midfield, and you don't think that when she comes from a central defender, but she plays with so much energy and intensity in midfield. She's almost more like an eight coming. So you just need to balance around her a lot. Uh, maybe you don't have to do that as much with Kim sometimes. Yeah, uh, it's like like I said, we, we had that question about Noel after the, the Bayern game and I think from a culture perspective to see how she handled that situation last spring, uh, trained, came back, I mean really claimed her, her spot in the team, uh, I just think it sets the culture. Uh, for the team and I also think it's of course it's massive credit both to her and to the our whole staff group working that see how how we can develop together uh, both players and staff and uh, I agree she's playing on a very very high level this this season and uh, it's been incredible to see uh, but yeah I, I still think she has another level in her but um, then, then uh, but we, we all hard work hard to, to get there Yeah, we of course we need to assess it and maybe scan it and see if it's possible for her to go with the national team or if we need to keep her. It's uh, but we we need to do that. Like what we learned from uh, um, recent things is that we, um, we we can't send away players that we are unsure of uh, to the national teams. We we need to make uh, we need to make sure that they are fit to play. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. Thank you.